What's up everyone, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, we have a very interesting video. This is gonna be kind of like an Afro, like sculpture with a skin fade on the side. I'm not sure what the right name for this will be, but you guys will get the point. So let's go ahead and get started right to the point. We're going to uh, pick all the hair out and that's just because if not, it's gonna be very hard to sculpture the hair. So usually what I do, we either wash the hair or we ask the client to please wash it at home or we watch out the other studio and then uh, we gotta pick all the hair out before we start shaping it, right? We're gonna, we wanna see what we're working with. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our clipper with the lever closed. In this case, I'm using a uh, Stylecraft uh, clipper. I, this is similar to a Rebel. I completely forgot the name of it, but it's pretty much the same as the Rebel, just like a little more premium. I will leave the link in the description if you guys are interested with my discount code for Stylecraft in Gamma. So now we're creating uh, our guide. This guy is gonna be like this is gonna be like a mid fade. So with that being said, I don't want to go too high. I want to see how much space I have, but I also don't want to do it the, the, the line too low because I want the haircut to last. Right? I think that I see a lot of people do skin fades and they do the the skin light very low, and then obviously um, the hair grows quick. So now I'm using my trimmer and I'm staying right underneath the previous guide. I'm just removing all the hair, but I'm leaving a little bit of distance between the zero and the trimmer. This is a very important step if you want to be able to create a smooth blend. This is so important. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our Babyliss Low Pro with the lever open to create a next guideline. I remember why I switched uh, got, uh, clippers in this video, to be honest with you. I think uh, one of my clippers died and I, I switched to a different one. I try not to do that so I'm not confuse you guys but pretty much just use the same trimmer or clipper that you were using at the beginning. So now I created that guide and it was about a, a finger's width. Now I'm creating another guide using a number one and this is going to be about a finger's width from the previous one. So lever open, uh, we're gonna create another guide. This is just gonna separate the tones uh, by the time we are done feeding, we're gonna have a nice set of trans like a nice transition because all the tones that are involved in doing a fade are there, which that means that all the light tones, the gray tones, and the dark tones, right? So now what I'm doing right now, I'm closing that lever. I'm gonna start blending down. Uh, obviously, you don't go as high anymore. So if you created your guide uh, with the lever open, then now you close the lever, you go a little bit lower to try to uh, blend that guide that you see right there. Uh, also with this type of hair, with curly hair, you have to make sure that you brush every time you kind of cut in. So you, uh, you can see like I cut and I brush, I cut in a brush. That's the way you get it done. Now I'm using the 0.5 or the half or the 116 or the baby list. And at this point, I'm just continue doing the same thing. I'm gonna start lever open and I'm gonna start closing that lever little by little. In some parts where the head rounds, I'm using the corners just to make sure that we get a nice and smooth transition. And again, make sure that you're combing the hair with every every pa every pass of the clipper. You see, like I, I comb the hair, then I cut, I comb the hair, I cut. Uh, now we're using the machine just without any guards. We lever open, which was what we used to create the second guide. And then we gotta go ahead and continue closing that lever little by little until we don't see the guide anymore. We don't see, we see like a nice smooth transition. If you see that, you know, there's dark spots, you can always go ahead and use your uh, scissors, your thinning shear, you can use the corners of the clipper, whatever you use to detail the haircut. It's just about you looking in the mirror, seeing if there's anything that just doesn't look right, uh, and then use accordingly however you feel more comfortable. Uh, using like the tools that you feel more comfortable using. In my case, I, I usually, uh, in this case, I will use the clipper, use the corners, but sometimes I use the scissors depending on what I'm trying to do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start detailing the haircut and I'm gonna create this shape up. In this case, it's just the, the C cup, that's it. And then now we're going to obviously go ahead and shape out the forehead. In this case, what I like to do, I like to start right in the center and what I do, I work my way out. Uh, the clipper that I'm using, well, the trimmer that I'm using right now is the Stylecraft, I think is the Evo, but this has the the blade of the saber. So the, I think it's called the One Blade. I'll leave the, the link in the description and everything that I'm using, but this blade is pretty awesome. So if you guys are interested, I'll say I'll leave the link in the description and um, with a discount code as well. So right now, while well, you can see, I'm just working on the corners. I try not to push back the hair too much, just what's necessary. Obviously, when you're creating a line that doesn't exist, you're gonna have to push the hair back like it is what it is. 
So here now I'm using uh, my clipper again. And what I'm doing, I'm using this clipper now, remember, because this one has a flat blade. The other one, the Low Pro, had more like a, like a bevel blade, like a taper blade. So I like taper blades to fade. And then for something like this, what I'm doing right now, which I'm sculpturing the hair, I'm definitely using a flat blade, like a, like a fade blade. So in this case, all I'm doing, honestly, Ed, is just looking in the mirror, looking at what I'm doing, and just kind of molding that hair the way I want it to to look right i want it to look a little more round and then that's what i'm doing you know after picking all the hair out i'm just going with the with the grain against the grain making sure that you know like everything is the, the way i want it to to look uh just simple with you trying to do something like this just practice practice a lot right so now that I'm, i finished with the top i noticed that there was a little bit of a ridge and it was not the transition wasn't as smooth as i would like it to be so then i'm using a number three i always start with the lever open first and then i adjust to start closing that lever little by little uh, the one thing with the lever that i feel like sometimes people don't don't teach or or, or students don't, don't understand is that you gotta play with that lever based on what you need right sometimes like i don't close the lever and in all my, I always start open though, but I don't close the lever sometimes in it, in, in every in character that I put on because sometimes you don't need to. Like if you see the blade is coming out the way you want it, don't close it because it just might cut out the blade. And to me, like, uh, it happens a lot with like the half, the 0.5, but uh, it's a thing guard. Sometimes if you close that lever all the way, you actually need a line. So it's very important that we keep that in mind. You know what I mean? So only close it based on the needs. If you feel like you need it, you need it. Well, now I'm going to use, use the, my two ears to make sure that you know, the fade is looking the correct way. Also, looking at the afro is looking the correct way. So if I see any flyaways, then I'm cutting them off. But if I see this puff, you know, the haircut, uh, like the shape that I was trying to create, it's not the idea. So then I go ahead and cut it a little bit shorter with this. This is gonna allow me to create a nice, very round shape that I'm looking for. Uh, sometimes the machine, the machine might just push the hair instead of cutting it, but the scissors would definitely cut it and be able to be a little more precise, white deep part. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of popping use all shape. So it's gonna be where I want it. And just use my razor after using a towel. So we get a little shape up. When, when I'm trying to do it, I got uh, uh, the shape up, have that pushing back much. I already kind of created my lines with trimmers, so I'm just following on what I already have done. Uh, now I'm gonna eat it great. The forehead, and that's it, guys. Keep it as simple, it's not that difficult. I feel like a come time we make everything more difficult to be. And you can see the client is super happy. He couldn't see much of that, you guys, so now you can see he's super happy. That's it, guys. This is the video for the best learner. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. If you guys have any ideas, tools, and content, the questions about this, uh, this clip, please let me know. Then I'm going to leave right here another tutorial that I know is going to help you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.